Roller coaster accidents are more often a myth than a reality. You usually have a better chance of getting injured on your way to or from an amusement park than while actually riding a roller coaster. Now accidents do happen every now and then, typically due to operator error. On September 28th, 2019, a major roller coaster in Mexico City unfortunately had a fatal accident. The roller coaster is called Chimera and is located at La Feria Chapultepec, Mexico. While undergoing a normal cycle, the last car of the train derailed while at speed and at least 20 feet in the air. The accident unfortunately claimed the lives of three riders. I am deeply saddened by this news and want to send my thoughts and prayers to all family and friends of those claimed in the accident. Now this accident does not appear to be caused by operator error. Accidents involving operator error are typically when the ride operator fails to properly secure a rider, leading to that rider being ejected from the vehicle. In this case, it appears that poor maintenance is to blame, as the ride did not function as designed. While traversing the layout, it appears the wheel bogies on the last car of the train failed, causing it to derail. Now the normal practice is for theme parks to inspect their ride vehicles every day before opening to guests. Parts are replaced proactively as things wear out, which helps to prevent any issues. While I do not know exactly what caused this accident, it would appear that lack of maintenance is to blame here. Chimera is a ride built by the German company Schwarzkopf, a famous roller coaster company who produced dozens of roller coasters in the late 20th century. The company actually built the first modern day looping roller coaster in 1976, a ride by the name of Revolution, which is located at Six Flags Magic Mountain in California and operates to this day. You may have actually ridden a roller coaster built by Schwarzkopf in your lifetime. I have ridden several and in fact, I almost rode Chimera in January of this year. I took a trip to Mexico to ride roller coasters and attended La Feria Chapultepec Magico. Chimera is one of the coasters I was looking forward to riding the most, but it was closed for refurbishment when we attended the park. The ride has a reputation for being one of the most intense roller coasters out there. Schwarzkopf were famous for building very intense looping coasters, and the park actually operated Chimera at a very high speed by not using any of the trim brakes located around the ride. These brakes are typically built into rides to moderate speeds, but the park simply did not use them. It makes me wonder if operating the ride at speeds faster than designed also led to this accident. This accident is also strikingly similar to another accident on another Schwarzkopf coaster in 1986. On June 14th of that year, a roller coaster by the name of Mindbender located at Galaxyland Amusement Park in Alberta, Canada also suffered a horrific accident that took the lives of three passengers. Just like with Camara, the last car of the train derailed except this time while circling through a vertical loop. This caused the train to stall at the top and roll backwards, which slammed the last car of the train into a support column. The ride vehicles were heavily modified after to better handle the forces the ride presented on the wheel bogies. Ever since, the ride has run accident free. Now Camara did not use these modified trains and the excessive forces generated by the ride combined with decades of operations may have taken their toll. Now this video is all speculation so I can't comment on exactly what happened, but I think it's safe to say that lack of maintenance is to blame. Now I would not be scared off from riding roller coasters based on this accident. Most parks are forced to follow very strict maintenance and operational guidelines that are imposed by the park chain and government. An accident like such would most likely never take place at a major theme park operating in other places in the world. I cannot say the same for carnivals, however, which are rather sketchy and seem to escape any actual rules or guidelines, so I would be careful with those. Anyways, my deepest thoughts and prayers go out to the family and friends of those who lost their lives on Chimera. This is certainly very devastating news and I wish the best for all of those involved. Thank you.